ready to so solve the next sum okay so here is your question when we subtract a number from itself the answer is always dash the options are a0 option b 1 option c 2 and option d itself so the question is asking us when we subtract a number from itself which means when i subtract a number from the number itself the answer is always very good it is 0 for example 100 minus 100 will give me 0 clear shall we move ahead okay here is your next one the question says fill in the blanks The question is 115 minus something is equals to 0. Okay. And your options are A0, B1, C115. And D hundred. Okay, so one hundred and fifteen minus something equals to zero. This is same as the one we did earlier. When we subtract a number from itself, so which means if I subtract one hundred and fifteen from one hundred and fifteen, I will be getting an answer zero. So what is the right answer, children? Very good. It is option C. Clear? Shall we move ahead? The questions are simple, right? Okay, so here is your next question. When we subtract dash from a number the answer is the number itself. And your options are A0, B1, C2 and D, the number itself. Okay. Now the question says, when we subtract dash from a number, the answer is the number itself. For example, if I reduce 100 minus something, the answer will be? 100. So, what should be the answer here? Very good. It should be 0. Only if I reduce 0 from the given number, my answer will remain the number itself. So, what is the right answer? Yes. It is option A, 0. Clear? Shall we move ahead? Okay. So, the next question is filling the blanks. And the question is 217 minus something is equals to 217. Okay. And your options are A0, B1, C2 and D217. So, what is the right answer here? 217 minus something equals to 217. So, this is exactly the principle which we did earlier. So, the answer is yes, it is A0. 
zero. Clear? Shall we move to the next one? Subtract the following. Okay? And your question is 95 minus 59 equals to we need to find the answer. Option A, 36. Option B, 37. Option C, 38. And option D, 86. Okay? So, let us try to find out the answer. 95 minus 59. So, what method will we use here children? Is it with regrouping or without regrouping? Very good. It is going to be with regrouping, right? So, here my number above is lesser than the one given below. So, which means that my minuend is lesser than the subtrahend. So, I am going to borrow from the tens. Fine. So, it will become here 15. 15 minus 9 is good. 6. So, this will be reduced by 1. So, 8 minus 5 is 3. So, what is your answer here? It is A36. Clear? Shall we move ahead? 